Hello everyone, the most awaited monthly video which is the performance report of electric two wheelers is here and it is the sales report that tells us that which brands have been liked, have been approved by the customers and which brands have been rejected. So let's talk about the sales report for the month of February which stands at 65,623. That's all electric two wheelers put together. That's the amount of sales that have happened. Now this is just marginally better than the January sales report which stood at 64,363 units. Now before we quickly tell you about the individual brands, now let me tell you that there is a very interesting trend which is noticeable in this report. It is what life teaches us. That is the old must always make way for the new. With that, let's start. Battery company, you get it online in Amazon and Flipkart as well and they sold only 129 units. Then there's this company called Live Humi, 140 units. Now, making an entry is Hero Motocop. They sell only two models as of yet, Vida models and they sell only in three locations, Delhi, Jaipur and Bangalore and they were able to sell 300 units. Good build quality, good specifications but the price is too high. Despite that, this is where they stand. Then we have Jitendra Evitek, an old timer which is slipping down and they are at 308 units. Then we can talk about Komaki, they make scooters and motorcycles as well, they are selling 334 units. Then comes Jemopai, now this is a brand that makes very affordable low speed electric scooters and we have covered them in this channel and they sold 337 units. Then comes Bendling India, their Bendling Aura model is quite popular, Bendling Falcon and they have sold 337 units. Now comes Bounce Infinity. The curious thing is they have spent a lot of money in advertising by bringing in Rithik Roshan and they're selling their scooters in a smart buy plan which means if you want only the scooter then you pay only 45,000 rupees. If you want the scooter along with the battery pack and the charger then you spend around 75,000 rupees and despite all of this these scooters have sold only 414 units so far. Then we talk about Pure EV, 488 units. Then comes Bigus. There are models like Bigus B8. There are models like Bigus D15 Pro. That's a moped style that we covered just yesterday in this channel. And they sold only 667 units. Then comes Kinetic Energy at 815 units. Let's move to Okaya Fast. Now don't get confused. Fast is only its name because the top speed of this scooter is only 70 kilometers per hour. It does a range of 100 120 kilometers and it has sold 1,200 units. Now before we move on to the top six. At number 7 is Bajaj Chetak selling 1300 units. Now they have slightly improved their performance by giving better range. It's a range bump of 25 kilometers. And let's see if this brings a positive change in their sales numbers next month. Now the top 6 players can be neatly divided into two groups. One group is that of the old ones or let's say veterans and the other is the new companies. Now the old companies are the veterans who started the EV two-wheeler technology in India. But now with times, their performance and the asking price do not match. Because they are not value for money products anymore, therefore they have slipped down and taken the 6th, the 5th and the 4th position. At number 6 is Okinawa, 3,840 units. At number 5 is Ampere, 5,835. At number 4 is Hero Electric, 5,855. These are all veteran companies that used to rule the EV sales report but now are pushed back to 4th, 5th and 6th position. Now the allegations on them are pretty serious by the government and Okinawa and Hero Electric are not eligible for fame to subsidy anymore because the government has found that they are importing scooters from China, slapping on their stickers and their brand names and selling it in the name of Make in India and pocketing all the money. So the government on stopping the fame to subsidy, their prices have shot up and therefore the sales have gone down. For Ampere Electric, the company says that the government has given them a go green and they still have the fame to subsidy. Whatever the case, their sales are also decreasing. And why? Because the top three positions are taken on by the new players who have incredible performance and they give a very value for money proposition. At number three is Ether Electric. Now the build quality, the engineering, the performance, everything is top notch and with the generation three products, they were able to sell 9,959 units last month and they're also working on their more affordable option which should be hitting the market pretty soon. At number 2 is TVS Motors. They sell iCube and iCube S models, practical, reliable and with the brand image of TVS, they were able to sell 12,568 units and their iCube ST is about to hit the market. At number 1 is of course Ola Electric. Selling S1 and S1 Pro models, they were able to rake in 17,600 units of sales and their S1 Air will be coming up in the month of June. So effectively what Ola is saying is that if you want to buy an electric scooter, don't even bother about other brands, just come to Ola and you have six options in this price range, choose whatever is good for you. And that is a very confusing thing to do by the way and therefore we made a video for you telling you which scooter out of the six Ola scooter options should you buy specific to your requirement. That video is there in the description so do check that out and subscribe to this channel for more. Go Green, go electric.